But it's about humor. You don't try a humorous story once. If you don't get a laugh, you let it go. I've talked about this in other tips, and Darren LaCroix, our founder of Stage Time University and, and one of my longtime mentors, taught me if you get a snicker, a smile, even a hmm, you may have something to work with. You've got to go test it, and the best comedians will tell you that. And Aren't I don't you? tell my family or my kids, hey, what do you think? Think about this joke. Yeah, I just yeah. say I went to a class with Dad. Yeah, yeah, tell the story. Right. I want to do a quick deconstruction of that story. The the funny line came from the gentleman who walked up to Stephanie's dad and said, "Hey, Jim, thanks for bringing the eye candy." The comedian took it one step further. You could stop with that line. It's funny. The comedian Stephanie took it and said, "Okay, I'm I'm a huge hit every single day." Now, if I told that joke, it would be cruel because I'd be making fun of Parkinson's. This is Stephanie's dad. It's her story. It's funny because she's talking about every day I can go. And I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, go ahead. There is usually when I say it in a club, I hear one person go, oh, so it hits a little close for some people and you just have to decide Am I okay doing that or not? And you, I just kind of try and... You're here to have a good time. I'm not here to, like, exactly. To make fun of, of anyone, um, the, the best thing my dad and I can do is, is laugh exactly. at this point. Uh, so, and, and when I hear that, I just sort of feel compassion for that. I just sort of send out an invisible... I hear you, yeah. but... So you just have to make a choice on what works for you. But it would that's what gets the laugh and then there's usually one person that it hits a it little hits hard. Yeah. hard. It hits a little hard and I'm I'm okay with that. And, and I've taught people for years in speaking. If you're not making some people in the room uncomfortable or yeah. even not like you, you're not pushing hard enough, whether it's comedy or a message. If you're taking a stand on a topic, some people in the room are not going to like you. Ask yeah. any politician. Even politicians who don't get half the vote can still be elected. Yeah, good okay. point. I'm not, okay, I'm not making a political statement, so please do not post anything about Trump, for God's sake. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and there have been many elections where people don't get elected with half the vote, and it's true. You get, If you're passionate about your topic, get out there and share it. And know that some people, they're just not going to like it, and that's their problem, not yours if you're doing it respectfully. And that's what Stephanie does with her humor about her dad's Parkinson's and dementia. It is respectful. It's got humor. Right. So with that, thank you so much. Here's a little. No. Oh, oh, no. Let's no. Finish. You know, you got the red light. Just keep no, talking. No, no. If you got more wisdom, this. share it, please. Uh, I was just going to say, you say don't tell jokes. There's a couple little things that happen. So actually, my dad has dementia. No one else in the Parkinson's class has dementia. Okay. But to make the joke work, I say, I say that, so that's, it's, the story is true, but I changed a little bit of it, and I also had cut out, I was talking about my mom went on vacation, so I was watching my dad all the time. Doesn't have any, it, it was true, but I found that I didn't need that part, and I was a little wordy when I told it here on camera. I always... It's more concise on stage. Sorry about that. I didn't Mike. pay. I'm sorry. I didn't pay enough for this interview. Apparently, <laughs> we got the. But anyway, thank you so much, Steffi, for Thank your you. wisdom and the insight you give us for humor yeah. here. And I always like to kind of circle back to the opening of my videos or speeches with how we started. Go do something with your hair. <laughs> thank you. You brought it up, not me.